Hi, today we're making mamul, which are date pastries. In a medium-sized saucepan, you're going to place one pound of pitted dates, or 454 grams. The dates around here come in a pressed blocks like I have here, and they also come loose in like in plastic bags. Either one is fine, and if it's, it comes in a block, you just break it up. To that, you're going to add one quarter cup of white sugar, one half cup of water, and a teaspoon of almond extract. Then you're going to heat this over medium high heat, bringing it to a boil, stirring it often, and as this begins to cook, the dates will start to break down. Now the recipe asks for chopped pitted dates, but I don't see the reason you have to chop these ahead of time, there's no point. As you're cooking, as long as you're doing what I'm doing now, as long as you keep poking at them and breaking them up, they will they will cook up quite nicely and once they became nice they become nice and thick and soft you're going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of freshly grated orange peel and stir that together so what you have is a nice smooth paste and this is the recipe this is basically the technique I use to make date square as well now for the actual pastry part, the recipe asks for butter flavor or golden flavored shortening. Uh, in this case it's Crisco brand. And a lot of people ask me what shortening is. This is what it is. Shortening is basically uh, soybean oil, palm oil, that kind of a thing. That's all it is. So what you do is you cream together one cup of that Crisco butter flavored shortening along with a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Now I'm adding three tablespoons of milk. And you can also add a tablespoon of rose water or plain water. Um, I didn't have any rose water. I'm not even sure if I can purchase it around here. I never really looked. But if you, if you can find rose water, use that. That actually intrigues me. I'd like to try them with the rose water. Now you're going to beat in two cups of all-purpose flour a little at a time until you get a nice pastry. And the pastry will be very similar to that. Uh, like a pie pastry, it'll be very similar to, to that, except maybe a little bit sweeter because it has a bit of sugar in it. And once it's blended up enough, you can start to use your hands and form the dough into a ball. It's actually a very easy dough to work with. The recipe says that you can find that rose water at Middle Eastern markets, and uh, we don't have any in, in the town that I live in. Then take um, a, a chunk of the dough and you're just going to form a little cup shape with it. And you're going to place one tablespoon of that date uh, mixture, the filling, into the center. And if it's sticking up a bit, you might have to push it down like I'm doing here. And then simply seal up the edges and turn it over and you place it on a cookie sheet seam side down and there's your little pastry. There you go. Now I'm just going to make another one here to show you. After they're done being made you are going to bake them at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 16 to 20 minutes or until firm and set. And it says do not allow the pastries to brown. They're going to be pale looking. There they are, ready to go in the oven. Now I noticed that I had more filling, I had lots, I had a bunch of filling left over and no more dough left over. So I decided to use something with this. Now if you recall my sunshine cookie and bumblebee video, um, I had only used half of the sugar cookie dough in that recipe, so I'm using the other half of that sugar cookie dough. I'm simply just taking two sugar cookies, basically, cut cutouts, and just putting a little bit of date in between them to make like little date cookies. That's pretty much it. That's what I did with the extra cookie dough I had, because I didn't want to throw the date filling because it was very tasty. And when they come out of the oven, let them cool a bit, put them on some racks, 
and the recipe says to sprinkle on some powdered sugar while they are still. These are really good. The pastry itself is light and flaky. It melts in your mouth and the filling is uh, is really nice and sweet. It's a very good little dessert. If I were to make them again, I'd make the pastry a bit thinner around the date filling and I think if I would have done that, the filling, the amount of filling would have matched the amount of dough that I had. It would have worked out perfectly. But these are quite good. And there are the little cookies that I made and those were kind of tasty too. If you give them a try, let me know how they turned out.